Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messy Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So I was in this session for a while, maybe like 10 minutes. And I was just flying around, seeing what's happening. And seeing as I'm not allowed to attack anyone first, I just thought I'd fly around people, see how they react. So I see this suppressor guy. And I just fly near him, see what he does, see if he knocks onto me or anything. It's like, he seems a bit passive. He doesn't shoot at me. Maybe he doesn't notice me. And I get bored, so I decide to fly around him, see if he wants to just like get in my helicopter or something. Which isn't actually a joke, I just thought like maybe we could chill with some randoms. So um, I fly near him. I can't actually see where he is, so I just fly around in circles. So I see that he lands on the roof, and I think about landing next to him, just being friendly. But he flies away. So I just sort of fly around with him. See, I'm not locking onto him, because I don't want him to think that I'm going to attack him. And then he locks onto me. I was thinking, maybe that's an accident, so I just, I just leave it. And then I literally have a heart attack because he locks onto me and kills me straight away. I didn't even have time to react. So, um, yeah, this guy attacked first. Of course, I go in the CEO, drop BST because I don't want to hit marker because I've had a day of just constantly hit marker and jets and stuff. I got a really nice shot on him, but I still managed to hit marker him, even though I've got BST. So that plan just completely failed. He misses one shot on me. I miss my minigun. And then he just flies away. I don't see him again. And he says lol in the chat, as you can see. See, so he flies away quite far, flies to the beach. I'm not sure what his plan was. Maybe he was trying to bait me into teleporting over to him or something. I'm not sure. But I decided to ask why, why he killed me to see if he said anything. Because uh, I was just being friendly. But he didn't respond for some reason. I just drive away, mind my own business. And just keep checking on him just in case he decides to come back for more. I see him he's still at the beach. I here I was debating whether I should try and hold to cannon him, but I realised that's not really worth it. He's just a random. But the main reason why I'd want to warp to cannon him was just to get a reaction out of him, see what he says. He wants to debate and teleporting over. But I decide I decide not to in the end. I let him come to me. So he's sitting on a rooftop here. I think he's trying to get a snipe on me all the way from there. I'm not sure what his plan was, but it seemed dodgy. So I decided to just teleport over to the nose bank. So fortunately, I can let you see him all the way over there. I missed the first shot, but I gave him the second shot. And I just respond with lol, like he said to me. For some reason, the BS2 makes it so I can't see at all, and also the fog, so... It's super hard to try and see him, try and get a shot off on him. I signed his suppressor again, and I hit marker him with BST for the second time. So that's quite unlucky on my part. Just finding a straight line that's quite easy to hit. I killed him. I say lol again, just to. Try a better reaction off him. And then, of course, he calls me a modder because apparently it's impossible for anyone to snipe anyone off an oppressor or for anyone to have good aim. In fact, even if I was modding, I wouldn't be able to hit him off the oppressor because you have to aim in front and aimbot doesn't aim in front. And I see him stood still. And I can't really see him, so. There's a strat where you fire a rocket, and it highlights the little, the little orange thing to hit. And I hit him a few times, and it turns out it's just like turned off his internet, or turned off his computer. And I'm waiting a while to see what's happening. And he's 
he's still standing still. Let's check his... Let's check his profile. The Elite Studio. So go on Social Club to check out his profile. Check out his crew. So go to his crew. And I noticed his crew name is the same as his name. Pretty much. Except for the, the the part in his name. I have send him a message just to see if he reacts. Nah, I find it funny that he's got the same name as his crew. So I just do a quick search on him. Now the recording actually cuts there. But go to the Elite Studio and 761,000 subscribers. And I would have thought someone with a lot of followers on GTA has probably played GTA for a while. I would have thought that I'd understand how to snipe and who's a modder and who's not and not just instantly go, modder, modder. Now I can see it doesn't do PvP stuff, but still. Either way, I forget to social club. This is to the next day, by the way. I check my messages and... He hasn't said anything back, unfortunately. But yeah, that's the end of the video. If you enjoy this type of commentary stuff, let me know down below. Drop a like, maybe. But thanks for watching. See ya.